Hi, my name is Jared McAnally. I'm one of the founders of Growbox. Growbox aims to make it really easy for you to grow your own fruits and vegetables in a small amount of space. The idea for Growbox came as I was struggling with gardening myself. I'm an avid gardener. I've been growing my own vegetables in my own backyard for years. I really wanted to enable technology to help me better manage my garden, um, get better yields, and I kept messing up on things and I, I thought there's got to be a better way, there's got to be a way to enlist technology to help me with this. So what I'd like to show you now is the software that we've developed. It makes it really easy to go all the way from planting seeds to harvesting and eating these things, this thing that you've grown in your own backyard. There's nothing like the taste of fresh vegetables that you've grown yourself, um, where you have control over how they've been fertilized, what they've, how they've been taken care of, and you pick them at the peak of ripeness. So, hope you like our software. Check it out. This is the first login screen that you'll see. And here you can do a new account, or you can log in with an existing account. I'm going to start a new account. I'll select, it, I'll select the amount of sun that I get in the, the area where I want to plant this garden. I'll put, also put in my zip code. Now, once you put in your zip code, then we know where you live, we know the kind of region that you uh, live in, and the kind of vegetables and plants that will grow in your region. So once I hit grow, it loads up the next screen. Now Growbox is teaching the concept of square foot gardening. Square foot gardening is much more efficient. Uh, it's a much more effective way of gardening for a small amount of space. You plant everything in squares instead of rows, so you kind of maximize the small amount of space that you might have. There's not really a need for us to plant in rows anymore. Rows is an industrial gardening technique um, makes it easy for tractors to get down through the fields and s spray crops, fertilize crops. When it comes to a backyard garden, we don't need to drive tractors around, so planting in squares is much more efficient. The typical things that would grow along the ground, like uh, pumpkin plants or cucumbers, things that vine, well, we'll, we'll put a trellis across the back of, uh, of this box and we'll grow those things up. So what you're looking at right here is a virtual picture of a square foot garden. This is a four foot by four foot box. And you divide that into squares. So we're looking at 16 squares that I can plant vegetables in. I've also got a little tip box here that'll give me hints about the different things that I'm doing as I'm doing them within the software. And I'm also showing you here that I can look at the weather. I know where you are using your zip code. So I can bring in weather data, uh, which will be important later. Now across the top I've got different icons that represent the different types of vegetables, uh, plants that will, this will be customized depending on the zip code that you entered in earlier. So I can say, all right, well I like carrots, so I'm going to drag carrots down into this square of my box. Um, here's broccoli, I'll drag that down into this square. Um, I love tomatoes, so I'll put those in the back so they can grow up the trellis. Or if I don't know what I want, I can drag down this pick for me button and that will populate my garden with the typical vegetables that grow for the zip code that I that I entered in earlier. And I can make an adjustment to this. I also really like peas, so I'm going to plant more peas and maybe some corn. And you notice as I'm clicking on these icons and dragging and dropping this tip window is changing to give me hints about the icons that I'm over top of or that I'm using at the moment. Corn likes to be planted, it likes to have uh, other plants next to it to pollinate. So you always want to plant it in a, in a square. Now as I've planted that, and I can come down here to this little scroll bar at the bottom, and this will take me through my garden through the different weeks. I can see how the garden's going to grow. So I can tell if I should plant something in front of something else. I want to block the sun. Uh, I can get a visual representation of what this is going to look like through the end of the season. It'll also show me, eventually it'll show me when things are ready to harvest, so I know I can pick my carrots and begin eating them, or I can leave them in the ground or like radishes for instance are done within three weeks so I could pick those and replant that square with something else. So once I've planned all that and got it where I want to then I can do purchase garden. I don't have this implemented yet in the software but eventually when you do that we'll, we'll take you to a, a buy window where we'll ship you the kit to build this box um, along with all the seeds for the plants that you've chosen. And then for a year will give you notifications that tell you exactly what to do 
um, for all the plants that you've chosen that you want to grow. We'll tell you when to plant them, when to harvest. Um, we're going to be monitoring the weather data so we can tell you when a, when a frost is coming. We'll warn you that you need to cover um, plants that you've said you wanted to grow that are sensitive to frost, like tomatoes. So you'll get a notification either through the app itself or through email. They'll tell you, okay, make sure you go and cover tonight because it looks like it's going to, in your area, it's going to be below freezing. Uh, we'll also tell you when it's harvest time, we'll send you recipes on how to cook those zucchinis that uh, you'll be harvesting. So we want to make it really easy to, for you to go all the way from seeds and planting to harvesting and enjoying the, the delicious homegrown vegetables, fruits and vegetables that you've grown in your own backyard. We'd love to have you sign up for a beta. Um, right now, we're this is a very early development. We don't have very many seeds. You might have noticed across uh, the top here. Um, we're working hard to get this software ready for the end of this year so we can be ready for people to start using it to grow their own gardens next year in 2013. So sign up for our beta. We'll get you an early copy of the software. You can help us test it. Thanks.